I was just wandering in the team cars this morning and I had uh, Kenny Ellison come over and say hello, you remember me? I learned English using your magazine, so it's a big compliment. You are a last, last, last minute call up yesterday. Yeah, yeah, last last minute call, uh, just the day before the race, and uh, it was a bit of a surprise, but no, I'm there and uh, I'm enjoying the race. You've been spending a bit of time in Brisbane riding with Chris uh, in advance of the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race and Sun Tour. Um, can you just talk about how long you've been in Australia and what, what you're getting out of the early season with your first season with Scott? Yeah, I've just, uh, I, and I arrived in Australia like uh, Friday, Friday, so it was okay for the jet lag for the race. Uh, we were there for we were there for training camp, like few weeks. Just uh, it was a buzz, like just for building condition for the for the gear globally. Not much intensity yet, so so I guess I will. Uh, we just have to to adapt to the rit to, the, to this week, and uh, yeah, after I do Abu Dhabi, so I stay in the heat condition. Okay, okay. One of your claims to fame is that you're usually the lightest rider on the on the world tour list. Yeah, I'm one. You're of You're always the lightest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Richie, when he's really lean, he's not uh, so far. Huh? Okay. He's like maybe 58 and I'm 55. You're 55 kilos. So, you know, 3K. Okay. You're now 55? I'm 55, yeah, around 54 and a half. That's just the present. Does it fluctuate at all? Uh, no, not a lot. Not a lot. It's like maybe 56 and, and 53 or 56. So okay. It's not, not a big deal for me to rate. Okay. What's going to happen for you this season? You're going to be in the, the Froome program all the way through through the tour? Uh, I, will, I, will, I will try to do a few races with him. and uh, I would like to do the Volta. You, know, you, know, you don't have to be too... You no, know, to the front with Sky is a big deal, so maybe, I don't know if I'm ready yet for this, you know. So you have to be step by step on uh, and not your time, so maybe if we're tired this year, and I would like to do a tour next year, yeah, sure. Okay, we've got stage two of uh, Tour Down Under about to start, so we could talk about that race. Yeah. Earlier today I had breakfast with Caleb Ewan, and, uh, and he asked me a, a favourite, and I said Kenny Ellison, but you've told me Sergio Hanna, so talk to me about what you expect from the stage. Yeah, I would like to to make things hard because uh, we never know with Peter Sagan. Well, what he, if he if he wants to do, he can do pretty much everything. So we want to to make the thing hard to to be more more of a climber race more than uh, even if Sergio is quite crunchy. But uh, yeah, we will try to do something in the end maybe. So um, yeah, to to make kind of selection for, for Sergio. Mm -hmm. Because I think today can be even more decisive than Wilonga. And, uh, so. all right. Cool. Well, I wish you all the best. Thanks for having a quick chat. Thanks. Cheers, Kenny. <laughs>